فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى جل جلاله في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يهزلون وقال بعض إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا سلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما بغزبولا اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أسمع الصلاة أحل محبتي وأعرفهم رسول أكرم صلى الله عليه وسلم نے ارشاد فرمایا کہ جب میرا عاشق مجھ پہ درود بیجتا ہے جب میرا عاشق مجھ پہ درود بیجتا ہے میں اس کو سنتا بھی ہوں پہچانتا بھی ہوں ایک مرتبہ عشق و محبت کے ساتھ روشی پر یہ السلاة والسلام علیکہ یا سیدی یا رسول اللہ وعلا آلیکہ واہ کیا مرتبہ اے گوس ہے بالا تیرا اونچے اونچو کے سرو سے قدم آلا تیرا سبحان اللہ this is آلہ حضرت عظیم البرکت introducing غوث عظم to us and he says تو حسینی حسنی مہی الدین کیوں نہ ہو اے حضر مجمع بحرین ہے چشمہ تیرا and then he says کیوں نہ قاسم ہو کہ تو ابن ابو القاسم ہے قاسم is رسول اللہ when the prophet said واللہو معتی و انما انا قاسم او و انا قاسم it comes in two narrations رب ہے معتی یہ ہے قاسم رزق ہے ان کا کھلاتے یہ ہیں انا آتی ناک القوسر ساری کسرت پاتے یہ ہیں رسول اللہ is the one who actually gives Allah رسول اللہ is قاسم but آلہ حضرت says to غوث عاظم رضی اللہ عنہ کیوں نہ قاسم ہو کہ تو ابن ابو القاسم ہے why can you not be the one who gives رسول اللہ gives but you are the son of رسول اللہ so why can it not be that you also gives then he says کیوں نہ قادر ہو کہ مختار ہے بابا تیرا کیوں نہ قادر ہو کہ مختار ہے بابا تیرا then he says نبوی می علوی فصل بطولی گلشن نبوی می علوی فصل بطولی گلشن حسنی پول حسینی ہے محقنا تیرا and then he finishes with saying نبوی زل علوی برج بطولی منزل حسنی چاند اور حسینی ہے اجالا تیرا that غوث آزم time does not permit me to go into detail the kiramat of غوث آزم there are a lot of youngsters here and when they hear about غوث آزم they hear many miraculous events which occurred. And often they think, how is it possible for a man to do this? It is a very long hadith. I don't have time to go into it. But the point I want to focus on, فَإِنْ سَأَلَنِي لَأُعْدِيَنَّ Awali, his maqam becomes so high, he asks Allah, and whatever he asks Allah, Allah gives it to him. And Hosea Azam is that individual. He is that individual, my brothers. No wali can become a wali without the acceptance and permission of Ghosi Azam, Sheikh Sayyid Abdul Qadir Al Jilani. And the miracles, it is the aqidah of the Ahlul Sunnah Tiwal Jama'ah for the youngsters. You need to remember this is the aqidah. It is from the dead tenets and the dogmatic values of Ahlul Sunnah. That whatever is permissible for a Nabi to do as a Mu'ajiza, it is also possible for a Wali to do that as a Karama. This is the Aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah. And we believe in all his miracles. We believe in all his miracles. But my brothers, what is the status of Ghosi Azam? And I will finish with this. It is also a consensus amongst the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah that Ghosi Azam darmayane awliya. Ghosi Azam darmayane awliya to Muhammad Darmayane Ambiya that the maqam of Ghosi Azim is so high that when you look amongst the Ambiya you find no one like Muhammad and when you look amongst the Awliya you find no one like Ghosi Azim radiyallahu anh my brothers love him what benefit will you have Shaykh Sayyid Abdul Qadir Al Jilani himself says that my hand is over my murids the way the sky is over this earth. My hand is over my murids. The way the sky is over the earth. And on the day of Qiyamah, each and every single murid of mine, he will be under my responsibility. And a person asked, 
What do you mean by this? And the first reply the ulama say that the first people who will be under the hand of Ghusl Azam are those who are the murids in the Qadiri Tariqah. But then it goes further than this. Even those who are not within the Qadiri Tariqah, they can be in any other Tariqah. But they are the lovers of Ghusl Azam, they will also be under the guidance of Ghusl Azam. To such an extent, and I finish with this. They were walking one day and Sheikh Sayyid Abdul Qadir Al Jilani, his companions were with him. Yeah. And they could hear some noises coming from a grave. Sure. The grave was making some noises. Oh, wow. And they are saying, oh Ghosa Azam, what is the reason for this? And Ghosa Azam said that he is getting punished in his grave. And why not he have the knowledge of the grave? He is the son of Ali. He is the son of Ana Madinatul Ilm wa Aliyun Babuha. Ana wa Aliyun min Nurin Wahid. The Prophet alayhi salam gave Ali such a status. And Ghosa Azam is the son of Ali. He says so that this person is getting punished in his grave. So the people, they say, what is the reason for this? Ghosa Azam asks the people, did he ever read Jum'ah behind me? And they reply, no. <coughs> they say, did he ever attend my lecture? They say, no. Then Ghosa Azam goes down, for, he puts his head down for a while. So Soon after, he raises his head and he says, an angel had just come to me and the angel informed me that once I was walking in the bazaar and this man, he looked at me. When he looked at me, he had good feeling in his heart about me. And because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven his sins and given him a place in Jannah. My brothers, this is an ordinary man. We are the slaves of Ghosi Azam. May Allah keep us the slaves of Ghosi Azam. May Allah keep the companionship and may Allah keep the... Sire of these great sadat upon our heads. May Allah allow us to be loyal with them till our life remains. Aqulu kawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa ma alayya